Good evening. I'm Jeffrey Banks, and this is my wife, Stacy Lee Banks, and we're here in Ward 3 in the American University Park neighborhood. Welcome to our dinner. So, Stacy, tell me about your family. Well, today we have my husband of 26 years, Jeffrey Banks. We have my dad, Richard Lee, my mom, Marie Lee, my sister and business partner, Christy Lee. The Sage is a member of our fifth generation. Lachey is my niece, and she's also um, helps with our HR in the business. Okay. And Blake is her daughter. Is so she's also a member of the fifth generation. Samara, my daughter, is also a member of the fourth generation. And tell me about growing up and having your grandparents around in D.C. What was that like? That was a wonderful experience. Um, we all kind of grew up in the flower shop. So that, that's my image of growing up in D.C. We all had to uh, work there, even if we um, didn't end up there. But we all had to start out at the flower shop in the family, sort of like a rites of passage. So Mr. Lee, how was it running your business on U Street? What was that like? Back in the day, there were like 300 African-American owned businesses on, in, in that corridor, in the, uh, say 7th Street, U Street, 14th Street. And then kind of dwindled, dwindled down, and you know, after the riots and everything, there were only a few left, and then they came in with the subway construction, and that knocked off quite a few. On U Street, um, and three businesses uh, where we own our own buildings, which means that uh, we, we could sustain ourselves even when they had the subway construction and whatnot. And that's us, uh, Ben's Chili Bowl, and Industrial Bank. So what's your legacy for your family? Well, I think the, the legacy was handed down by um, my grandparents, William and Winifred Lee, and then through my dad. Uh, and mom, it's really a legacy to the whole family, and their name is carried on through the generations through the flower shop. Also, we were able to uh, buy this house for my grandmother. Grandmother, oh, wow. yes, this, this was a house they lived in for 30 years, and then uh, as my grandmother, once my grandfather passed away, she wanted to move to an assisted living place, so she we said, can we buy the house? Right, exactly. And my dad was uh, nice enough to let us <laughs> to do that, let us do that, and so we were fortunate to do that about 20 years ago. Wow. So this house has been in our family for 50 years. That's like yeah. a in itself Absolutely. and generational wealth. Yes, yes. Thank you for joining us during Black History Month for our Sunday Family Dinner Series. You can share your family stories using the hashtag BlackHistoryDC.